What's up, guys? My name is uh, Jan. I'm filming this video about this here uh, GoTrax GXLR V2 electric scooter. So this is our first electric scooter. I was really reluctant to get one. Everybody seems to have one of these nowadays. Um, so, top speed about 14 and a half miles per hour, but roughly 18 miles. Um, so I'm filming this video because I wanted to share my experience with this one. Um, I don't know what your experiences are. You can uh, let me know. So, the man rules that the max limit is 220 pounds, and I believe we have maxed it because at one point, me and my kids were all three of us were on this thing. <laughs> so maybe it got rained on, it got wet. It's also not waterproof. So, so, and what happened was that. It, it would die. It would start. It would die, and then you know, the battery would just dwindle to four, three, two, one, and disappear. And it'll flash a battery sign. So it would work. Then it would work. So for weeks, I was kind of baffled with it, right? Um, but then, you know, when I opened it up, but I've already fixed the problem. So I wanted to show you guys and share with you the, uh, the technique that I used. No, I'm not a electrician or anything like that, but I am a, I am a mechanic. Um, so I work on cars and fix things. Being that it's, it's electric, you just have to um, think that it, everything is it's all contacts. It's all contact points. So, so I noticed that the the connections were, were burnt out. Okay, so the reverse is this, and just pull this out. Take the cables out, and then pull it out gently, as, as easy as you can. Right there, see? So, as you can see from the first one, as you can tell right there, number one, the negative, it got burnt out, right? And then down here, the bottom, the inside of the first one, the, the first one up to your left was, was full of uh, melted plastic from this. So now my first instinct was, you can pull the battery out with your finger to you pull it out like this, and you take a you know, plier and just pull it out as so gently as you can. This thing comes off plastic piece so I figured with, you know and I look up the battery cost for these things and this is 200 bucks at Amazon and go tracks so in their website it's sold out and I don't think and there's another uh, scooter electric scooter uh, online store that sells it for $219 for this whole thing this whole unit this battery I figured well you know what I'm gonna try to fix it first so what I did was, I took the battery out, right? And then I started shaving off the molten plastic from over here with a knife, gently as you can. If this ever happens to you, pull it out. Look at the terminals from one, two, three, four, five. See if any of them are burnt on the outside like mine. See right there? It's burnt. So I just took a knife and I shaved off the top and I shaved off the inside because I believe the contact is not contacting the, the copper connection. So it took me a couple of hours of trial and error putting it back in, being gentle not to damage the, the, uh, the copper fittings, in the connections uh, on the inside, right? So I just took a, you know, the corner of a knife, the point knife, and I started shaving all around it just to remove, just to remove the plastic. And then I did the same thing from down here. It would take, although, warning though, it will cause a spark when you touch metal to metal. It sparked a few times. But then, when I thought about it, so I had to work around removing the plastic, you know, the molten plastic from the terminal right there. See how it's clean now. Um, I had to use a knife. Like this one, right? 
like this, and I just melted, and I heated it on the uh, on the stove to gently remove the plastic, the molten plastic all around the terminal. So I just basically cleaned it out. Or you can also use a uh, electric uh, connector cleaners. You can get that at any uh, you know, electronic stores or auto parts store. And then I put it back on and it, it works. So I didn't have to save, I saved $200 plus tax and deliveries on a battery that, you know, you could fix. So literally guys, so let me know what your experiences are because this is my first electric uh, scooter that I ever owned. Um, you know, back in the day, we just had bikes. Now you got everything electric. So once again, if you have one of these, don't overload it, max 220 pounds according to the uh, manual. And it's not waterproof, so if it's raining, seek shelter and don't get it thing soaked. It's very sensitive, it's got electronic parts in it. Um, so if you notice and you pull out the handle, you know, the tiller, it's molten plastic. Well, the symptoms are going to be that the, it will just go off on you. It'll run for a few, few feet and then stop and then die. You don't necessarily have to change the battery. You know, pull it open and see if, you know, see if the terminals are melted. And then just carefully remove the plastic surrounding it with a, you know, with a knife. Heat, heat the knife and work it. Because they're not touching. That's why they're not touching together. You know, the contact points are not touching. That's why it's not getting, uh, you know, the current that the scooter needs to run. So, once again, I fixed it. I saved myself. 200 smackaroos and it works you don't have to go out and buy a whole new battery but that's what they want you to do all right so uh, let me know what you know what you think if you have this similar or exactly the same symptoms on your scooter hit me up man all right peace